This tutorial is a special request from Christina. You know who you are, girl. Hey, girl, hey. So let's head over to Canva and make some mock-ups move. So the first thing you need to do is come on over and grab you a photo. It doesn't matter, any photo will do. The reason why you need a photo is because you need this edit photo tab uh, to pop up. So once that pops up, what you wanna do is come down and you wanna go into your apps and grab your mock-ups. So, and then you're gonna come down and pick what mock-up you wanna use. I am going to go into home and living so I can grab something. Some of them are already with no background to them, so like this co coffee cup where you can just use this as it is. Um, and some of them have a background to them. So I'm going to do one with a background and oh, we'll go there. Where's my little uh, home and living? And I am going to grab this cool little coffee cup here. So I'm going to get rid of these two. And I don't want to use this background. So the first thing I'm going to need to do with this is go into file, download. I'm using a video format because I want a big canvas so y'all can see. So let me go back into there since I hit that button, download. I'm gonna change this to PNG. You, this doesn't have to be in video format to do this. I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna come down to my background remover. I'm in the free version, so I use remove BG. I'm gonna bring it over. and it's gonna remove the background and it's gonna be a cup. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna bring it back over to Canva. I am going to bring it in like so. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make my background. We're gonna use this picture. We're gonna set it as the background. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your cup and put it wherever you want to. I'm going to edit photo a little bit and I am going to go and adjust this because remove BG for us free people can be a little bit blurry. So I'm going to try to sharpen it up just a smidge before I take it. So now I got my cup where I want it to be in the background that I want. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and download that again, make it a PNG. I am going to do page two because that's where it is. And I'm gonna hit download. I'm gonna come over to my background remover. I'm gonna load it in. And then we're gonna do a little something something. So what I wanna do now is I wanna restore the whole background. So I'm gonna go erase restore. And then I'm gonna restore the whole background. And then once the background is restored, now what I want to do is erase. So what I want to erase is this part where the frame is. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to sloppily do this and hopefully that it doesn't turn out sloppy when I try to erase it. Let's see what happens. So now it took some of the lid. So what I want to go back in here and I want to restore the lid. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go where the lid is. And I am going to restore the lid. And once it looks good, I'm going to go done and I'm going to download. Now we're going to head back over to Canva. I'm going to go and I am going to bring in my photo. Like so. And then uh, what I'm going to do is what I want to put behind it. I like the way I put this little Halloween thing that I made for somebody. It kind of turned out cool. So what I want to do is I want to do two of those. So I'm going to duplicate those one and I'm going to put it side by side. So I have enough time enough to go around all the way around. So what I want to do is go into position layers. I'm going to hit my control key, highlight the other one. So both of them are highlight, group them together. And then what I want to do is put them behind here and then I am going to, then you're just going to size it till it fits within your, within the frame you made. 
And you can do this for any of the mock-ups that you can that you want to try to make moves. This is just the way to do it. And then what I want to do for me, just to kind of make it a little bit better, um, it's in my projects. So I'm going to go on my folders, my star tab. I, if you know me from old, I use the black gradient rectangle a lot. So I want two of these. Actually, I think I did three when I did the test drive on these. And I just want to put that in there a little bit on an angle. Take this one. Put a little bit on the angle and just uh, give it some position. I'm going to control. I'm going to drag both of these down. You want it behind your mask. So this is a mask. And then I think I, um, let's go back and go into projects and oh, why didn't you stay there? And I think I grabbed a third one and put it down because in the original mock-up you could uh, actually see a little bit of shadow under the lid so uh, let's see let's put that there and give a little bit of shadow under the lid and like i said you can move that you can move these around for how dark and it is but it'll just give it a little bit of depth in that roundness so now that we got it in place you want to set your timing however long you want it to go and then what we're going to go is we're going to grab on to our photos make sure you click on it and then hit animate. I'm going to click the bumblebee. I'm going to hold the shift key down. And then I'm going to drag it across. Okay. I'm going to hit steady because I need that. And I'm going to slow it down because I want it to be able to see what's going around. And that's how you make that. And it looks like a cup spinning around. And if you have... Just a regular old, let's go grab, a, let's grab another photo, grab a photo so we can get in here. So say you have, you want to do like the coffee cup. Let's see. The coffee cup, you can do, that's already cut out. So you don't have to do that first step because it doesn't have a background to it. So you're already there. You're just going to download this, take it to the background remover and remove this section right here. That is the one that looks like a frame. And then when it's done, it's going to look like, let's see my uploads. Um, it's going to look like so, because you put one out of the frame and then you'll have masks that you can use for your products. Um, I found a tumbler in there. This tumbler had a background to it this gray background. So I didn't, I didn't change the background on this one and remove the background and then do the mask part. So I just did where I could move that. So, and then all you're going to do is stick some photos behind there. You stick it behind there. And you can see when you do the animation, it goes across, you know, it'll grow across and stick it behind this one and do the same. You can just have that going across and then you can go, if you want to make it a little fancy, get you a little shadow, put it on the bottom, bump it up a little bit. But that's just really, it's just whatever you want, you want to do it. And then once you make a mask, if you want to do a generic mask with, that's just something like this or something like this. Once you find a background on a table or something like that, and then you can just put on all, all your different ones and all you have to do is change it out and change the animation. And I've seen some people when they sell these things, what they do, they wind up putting a, a frame in there or, and then just leave the animation. So it, all they have to do is change the image out of the frame. So all they would have to do is just like, hold on. We do a frame, do a frame, put it back there like so, make it long, flop that in there, position, put it behind there. So like when you buy one of those ones, it's in the frame and it already has the animation put on it. So get that, click our bumblebee, hit our shift key, drag it across like so. And then make it steady. So 
then when you go and buy one of those things, all you're doing is like going in there and changing that out and the animation stays and you can change it back and forth. So, and that's how easy that is to do. It's not really that hard. It's just a little background removing. Sometimes it can get a little funny when you're doing like the lids, like when you remove the background, the lid will disappear. Just be very gentle and go across the lid. It'll come back and, and you'll have the lid back. But once you have one, or one, you can make tons of them because it's just, it's very easy to do. And it'll save you from buying them. You can just make your own. Easy peasy. And you can use the mock-ups to do it without having to do a bunch of extra stuff. And that's how we do that. And I hope this helped you out. And I hope you make fun, have fun making cool little things. I will see you on the next one. I'm Michelle. Guess what? I love you guys. Bye, y'all.